In this video, I will explain the basic design flow for using Zinc Ultra Scale MPSOC to control a peripheral. The problem solved in this video is using the Ultra 96 version 2 embedded system to control LEDs. The Ultra 96 version 2 board is based on designing Zinc Ultra Scale Plus MPSOC and is designed to provide a PGA plus CPU heterogeneous embedded system suitable for edge computing. Designing Smitey's toolset can be used to configure and program the board. Here, I'm going to use the board to control the illumination of four LEDs. Although this is a very simple task for this complex platform, it can be considered as the classic Hello World example to get familiar with the Zinc MPSOC design flow. The board has a 40-pin low-speed expansion connector that will be used in this video to control LEDs. This table shows the pin names and their layouts. We will use four pins named HD underscore GPIO0 to HD underscore GPIO3 in this design. Also, this table shows the SOC pin names connected to the 40 pin low speed expansion connector that can be used to write the physical constraint in the Vivado project. This would be our board and LEDs configuration. The design flow consists of two steps hardware platform design and software design. For the hardware, we use the Zynings Vivado toolset. The hardware design should be encapsulated into an XSA file to be used later by the software design flow. And for the software code, we will use the Vitus toolset. Firstly, let's create a Vivado project with the name of Ultra 96 version 2 underscore GPIO underscore LED dash Vivado. In the project type page, make sure that the RTL project is selected and select the do not specify sources at this time option. And do not select the project is an extensible Vitus platform. In the default part page, find and choose the Ultra 96 version 2 board. Then create a block design to integrate all the design IPs. Add the Zinc MPSOC IP, then run the block automation process. Double-click on the Zinc IP and in the PSPL configuration, PSPL interfaces, disable Axi HPM1, FPD, and press OK. Then add an Axi GPIO IP to the design. Run connection automation. Then select the All Automations option and press OK. Double click on the GPIO IP and customize the IP as shown. All four pins should be output as we are going to connect them to LEDs. Expand the GPIO pin and make the output pins external. Then delete the GPIO underscore RTL. Rename the port by removing the underscore zero. Then we should define the physical constraints. Right click on the constraints folder and select add sources. Make sure that the add or create constraints is selected. 
Then press on create file. Choose a file name and press OK and finish. Open the empty constraint file and add the constraints as shown. Now we are ready to synthesize the design. Go to the Design Sources folder, right-click on the Design underscore 1 and select Generate Output Products. Right-click on the Design Underscore 1 again and select Create HDL Wrapper. Finally, click on Generate Bitstream. After generating the FPGA bitstream, click on the file and select Export Hardware. This generates the hardware platform XSA file that will be used later for creating the Vitus project. Then, go to the Tools menu and select the Launch Vitus ID. The Vitus ID will appear. Create a new application. In the Platform window, click on the Create a new platform from Hardware, XSA, tab, and browse for the generated XSA file in the Vivado project folder. Click Next. Choose a software application name, for example, Ultra 96 version 2 underscore GPIO underscore LED dash Vitus. In the platform page, select the Hello World template. The Vitus will create the platform project folder and the application project folder.
Click on the platform.spr file under the Platform Project folder. As the Ultra 96 version 2 board has used UART1 instead of the UART0, the default serial port driver in most Xilinx tools, we should modify the generated board support package. Open the board support package under zinc mp underscore fsbl and change that as shown. Do the same for the board support package under standalone underscore PSU underscore Cortex A53 underscore zero. Now compile the platform project. Open the source file and modify the C main function as shown. In another video, next week, I will explain the structure of this C program. Now compile the application project. Finally, run the application and look at your board. You can open a serial terminal to see the output of the print function in the CMain function. As a quiz, you can connect 8 LEDs to the Ultra 96 version 2 board and perform the same task. 